Hey Life Path 11, welcome to your July 2021 monthly reading. So what I have here is the first row would be the energy that you guys are coming out, out, out of like residual of June and what's starting off in July. Second row would be what the energy is for mid month and then the last row would be what the energy is for at the end of the month, what you will be dealing with. So along with the tarot, I've also pulled some um, some energy oracles to see what is going on your overall theme for the month and also some um, s uh, messages from my special pile that I made, which is also available for sale on Etsy. I will leave the link below. So starting off in the month of July, looks like you guys have been trying to manifest some stuff but you have not been manifesting that well you haven't been manifesting that much but you've been working and you've been trying but you, the reason you have not been manifesting and if you at the time you're seeing this you should be going through it or starting to wake up to it is because you've had some energy around you that's deceitful that's what this devil card is about then you got your sun in reverse so you guys are not shining you're supposed to be the star you're supposed to be shining but you're not shining because You've had some outsourced energy that's been sabotaging you. You guys have not been seeing it. I mean, some people that have not had your best interest have uh, been saying they've had your best interest, but they haven't had your best interest, and they've been using you, and all that is starting to, you're starting to notice that, and you're starting to see it. And as soon as you notice the sabotaging energy and the toxic energy that you have around you, and you start clearing that, you will be upright in your magician mode because you're manifesting from a place of lack and a place of delusional. I believe a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time. You are about to go in through a spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakening is what you guys need in order to get out of this energy. But some of this energy is going to lead you to your spiritual awakening once you find out that whoever's been betraying you, whoever's been lying to you, this is not the way you guys have been saying it's going to be. And then you realize you have control of your own life they don't make your destiny you make your own destiny so you don't need to trust anybody outside of yourself so you guys start trusting and going inside of yourself and finding yourself and look around the mid mid month you start um turning things around remember your life at 11 you're supposed to be healers you're very spiritual and you shine like at a double one so you like you radiate and people love to be around you very very engaging so just don't let people take advantage of that beautiful shine that you guys have because, you you know, you're no good like that. It's a devilish energy. So like I was saying, around the second week or so, mid-month, you'll start to get some of your wish fulfillment, some of your concrete, some of your material wealth, and some of your abundance is going to start to come through. You're going to start to have a better energy. You have the Ace of Swords in the upright, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, Spirit is letting me know this is in the reverse. If you want it to be in the reverse, it just depends on how much truth you're willing to see and how much you're willing to accept, because the truth that you are not accepting is what's going to keep you away from your your, your your material abundance that this is like the worldly wishes of everything you would want so that ace of swords in the upright that's a it's a new spark with yourself that's you turn in whatever your thoughts are into material abundance things so the ace of sword is telling me that you are starting to be in your magician upright mode this is the card of you can see the truth you have seen the light you've accepted it and your thoughts are starting to manifest into reality your thought forms are starting to take form so you've been journaling and you've been um wishing and hoping and this and it's starting to take form you've you've cleared some of that toxicity out of your life and then by the end of the month we're sitting on the queen of wands and you have the balance you're balancing things and you i love that this uh 10 of wands is in the reverse which is usually a card of things feeling so heavy on your back and you're just oh everything is overbearing what this card is telling me is that ooh, it's upside down so it won't be feeling any overbearing anymore you have balance balance a two of 
Pentacles is a balance card. This is you have it figured out. You found out and got rid of all the stuff that doesn't serve you, and you are ending up the month in a Queen of Wands energy. This is a very attractive energy. I'm sensing that once you guys realize who you are and take your power back around mid month. All of this beautiful energy is going to start to come around and you're going to find the right people to help you and the right people are going to help you shine and you will not have this, this nasty energy around you anymore that's trying to suck away your shine. This queen of wands is a very attractive energy, male or, 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 or female, female, male, doesn't matter. It's just the mode that you're in. She is fiery. She is <laughs> abundant. She's attractive. People put her on her pedestal. People want to help her. And she's passionate. And just like people will like, you know, fall at their knees just to, to, to be in this person's presence, which is what, <laughs> to me, this is the epitome of your energy as a life path 11. You, you shine with that Queen of Wands energy. Some of you might be having to have a little like pet or maybe get in a pet by the end of the month. Spirit just downloaded that to me real quick. So you're going to have a really good July. You just have to get, you're going to bust through this energy that you might literally be in right now while you're watching this. Just know the more you work on it and the more you accept the truth. So all these things you're finding out and you're like, ah, I don't want to believe that. That person would never do this to me. Yes, they did do it to you. Accept it. <laughs> Heal it. Get them out your life if they need to be or just adjust the situation. But you cannot move forward with negative energy around you. They are not serving you. You cannot move forward that way. So it's all on you. And you are craving balance. This is what this two of pentacles is at the bottom. You are craving balance. And your overall energy, my friends, for the month is envy. Now, this is not an envy where... I feel this is your energy. I feel this is an energy of envy from outside sources. A lot of people are going to be envious of you because you are taking your power. And when Caesar are telling people, um, I don't think I'm supposed to do this way. I don't want to do it this way. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it because this is for my best interest. And you start questioning and like, um, letting people know your stance. They're going to come a little envious. They're going to be like, wait, what? Who do you think you are? You are who you are. And this is your life. And you're supposed to live the way you want to live it. Not for anybody else i did not even see that go over like that <laughs> you're not supposed to be living your life for other people so with this you make sure so with this you make sure that you're living in your power that you are in your power and that you worry about any jealous or envious energy that is around you you're craving balance this month and the balance is coming in that's why you got the yin and yang sign now with this yin and yang in reverse when it's in reverse it means that you are more yang orientated in this month so you are more yang orientated in the month of um um july which is more outward action yin is like you're going inside and taking in you know finding balance within with the yang you did this more action oriented you're going and you actually find your balance you're taking steps towards it you've healed it and now you can set forth action for it to, to come to fruition so balance is coming in you are it's, it's just so much balance is all over this i love it but just be aware that with balance comes jealousy and envy because you're devilish outside energy or sources that was uh you're starting the month off with is going to see you shine during the month. It's going to see you come into your power. And they're not going to like it so much. So they might be a little envious, talk a little crap. But it's okay. Let them talk crap. You're the magician. You're going to be in your upright magician mode, okay? They are going to be evaporated. You're going to have your queen of wands energy going on. You're going to be fiery, attractive. And look at that. We pulled out the phoenix card because you are the phoenix rising, okay? Phoenix rising. And it's a special message that the spirit is going to have for you this month, the month of July. It's to be free. And also your throat chakra might be blocked. So you need to speak your truth. Like I was saying, speak up. Sun ain't right. Don't feel right. Use your intuition. You know it ain't right. Speak up. Let it be known. The quicker you speak up, the quicker you can start this beautiful Ace of Wands energy and start manifesting your dreams into actual physical form. The only reason to stop it right now is because you are not checking the people and the sources around you and the toxicity. Sometimes it might not even be a person, but a whole environment that you're in and you just need to move physically states 
cities <laughs> and find new fresh energy for you to manifest your abundance and dreams because july is a beautiful month of balance a beautiful month of balance so only you can you know stop it by not accepting the truths of what you see and you know so spirit wants you to be true i mean be free so it's summertime be free be out there go on some adventures take the dog out and yes if you guys want a summer of love the love is there too because the yin yang sign to me as well represents the twin flame so remember for you to get a twin flame and for all that to come in you got to work on you because it is a mirror your twin is a mirror he ref he or she reflects back to you what you are so you're have fine if you find in your balance and you're in your power mode and you're not letting people take advantage of you and get rid of rid of all of these um bad karmic contracts and bad energies that no longer fit the time um time line that you're on right now because your timeline has increased you're in a new upgraded timeline because you have ascended so the spiritual awakenings you extend to truths and you find out who you are so these people no longer match up with your frequency so you be free so now that you can find better frequency to match up with this is when you could track your twin in because they're working on the way you're working on you they were working on um them too so the quicker you work on you you can have a nice beautiful summer love and since around mid-month if you really want this you can have your twin flame you can have it all everything it's gonna give these people something to really be envious about they're gonna be big time mad honey big time mad <laughs> anyways enjoy this beautiful july don't forget to go out and have a great time enjoy the summer enjoy the summer of love be free speak your truth you are the phoenix rising and you're getting a whole bunch of balance this month once you clear out all the toxicity around you give them something to be envious about <laughs> thanks for joining me today life path 11 don't forget to like and subscribe i do weekly life path readings there will be they are not as long as your monthly readings of course but just to let you know how the energy is going to be for the week so don't forget to like and subscribe and i see you guys later and comment positive things below